hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a bridal makeup tutorial this was requested on my instagram so i hope you enjoy this i tried to include a few tips for your wedding day so if you would like to see how to get this full glam bridal look then just keep on watching hey guys welcome back to my channel so we're going to do bridal makeup today and the first thing we're going to start with is prepping your skin so before you start with any makeup you want to make sure that you're primed and moisturized if you prefer to use primers i don't necessarily have to have a primer when i'm doing my makeup but if applying primer makes you feel more secure in your makeup then i would apply primer before you start with foundation now primers i would go for if you have more dry skin more moisture primer I've seen a lot of people rave about the Marc Jacobs coconut skin primer also for a little more cheaper I guess route the first aid beauty coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer <laughs> this is safe for sensitive skin and it makes your face look hydrated and luminous so those are two options if you have dry skin now if you have oily skin I've seen people rave about the Smashbox photo finish primers to help with oiliness or the Becca um, Ever Matte primer. So go to your local Sephora or just search online for the best primer for your specific skin type and give those a try. Make sure that you try all of new makeup before your wedding day. Don't buy a bunch of makeup and then sit down and do your makeup for the first time. <laughs> on your wedding day make sure that you practice beforehand and take flash photography so you know how the makeup will flash back from camera after you've moisturized and primed you're going to go into foundation now for foundation i really am comfortable with the l'oreal true match foundation however depending on how you blend this if you don't blend it well or if you have not chosen the correct shade sometimes this can give you the appearance of flashback so i would not trust this foundation to wear on your your wedding day it's a really great foundation I love the finish of it but I would not trust it for flash photography not unless your wedding is during the day or in the morning and your photographer can take all photos without flash then I would go with this but then you got to think about like your guests taking flash pictures and then they might be catching you looking crazy but you know whatever so the other foundation that i know does not give me flashback is the iman luxury concealing foundation now this foundation is kind of only for women of color they don't have a lot of shades that go into the fair or lighter than me really shade range so this is great for people for women of color now this one is great for everybody as well as the makeup forever ultra hd foundation is great for everybody the only thing about this foundation is that it does settle into my smile lines so depending on how heavy duty you go with setting your foundation or using primers the settling may not happen to you but I just want to put that out there that this does settle into my smile lines even when I use the concealer and my smile lines as the trick to keep them from creasing this still kind of creases we got the foundations out the way so I'm actually gonna go with the L'Oreal true match foundation just because I really love this foundation foundation and I kind of don't want to use something outside of what I've been using for the past like two weeks because then I might not be comfortable with the way my foundation looks so I want to be comfortable with that but keep in mind this may give you flashback but like I said just go ahead and test it beforehand just because a foundation has sunscreen doesn't necessarily mean it'll give you flashback so I would definitely test it out beforehand before making the decision to just not wear it now you want to make sure that you blend the foundation down towards your neck if you spray tan and your face is a different color than your body you just want to make sure that it blends in now if you don't do any tanning or anything like that you still want to make sure that you blend it a little bit onto your neck because what I've found is that sometimes there can be a demarcation line right here at your jawline so make sure that you at least blend in this area right here to make sure that the foundation is looking seamless. Also, you wanna make sure that you go and get professionally matched, whether that's at MAC Cosmetics or at Sephora. Just make sure that your foundation matches you as close as it can for your wedding day, it's important. Now, for concealers, a lot of people have been raving about the Tarte Shape Tape. It has really full coverage, but if you've tried this and you don't really like it, that's perfectly fine. I really like the NARS Radiant Cream 
creamy concealers i use ginger and caramel i really love these concealers because of the finish of them and they aren't super thick so sometimes when you have too thick of a barrier on your face it can break down easier which means you might get oily faster or things like that so i really like these because they're not super thick and i love the finish if you want to go a more classic route then the mac pro longwear concealer is great as well so yeah those are a few options of concealers that i would wear if i was getting married um, but i definitely if i was getting married tomorrow which i'm not <laughs> but if i was i would go with the nars caramel concealer so that's what i'm going to apply right now now make sure that when you're getting ready on your wedding day if you can have your makeup applied right in front of a window your makeup artist can really see how the foundation and how the concealer is matching on you especially if you're planning to take most of your pictures outside you want to make sure that you have it done by natural lighting even if all of them are inside you still want your makeup done in natural lighting now if your wedding day happens to fall on a cloudy day then you just want to see if your makeup artist has some sort of lighting that's close to natural lighting like a ring light or something that he or she can bring to the place that you're getting your makeup done and the reason why I apply that concealer in my smile lines because it does help them from creasing throughout the day so if you have that problem make sure that you put a little concealer in there to fill them up to set the places that I just concealed, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. If you're a bit darker than me, I would go with a powder that has more of a yellow finish and not a translucent powder because it may come off a little ashy. So maybe like the, I've seen people use the Sacha Buttercup Powder or the Ben Nye Banana Powder or just any pressed powder from like the Anastasia Contour Kit that has a yellow undertone. It's in the shade Banana. The new Urban Decay Shape Shifters have a yellow powder right here so whatever powder that you can find that has a yellow undertone only if you're darker than me I will go for a yellow powder over a translucent powder now if you've tried a translucent powder and it works great for you then just go ahead and of course use that but if you try the translucent powder and you realize that it doesn't really work for you I would go for a yellow powder now if your wedding is outside and it's like in the middle of July or middle of August I would recommend you to let the powder sit on your face for a little longer and then dust it away that way you stay matte for a longer period of time now I've been cream contouring lately so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm just using the Urban Decay shape shifter in the shade medium dark shift and then we'll move after I apply this we'll move on to a contour powder this is definitely optional to do cream contouring if you don't want to you do not have to so for the actual contour powder powder I'm going to use this one from the Naked Skin Shape Shifter in the shade Light Medium Shift. I used the Medium Dark Shift for the cream product but for the powder I like to use this one. I just apply it right on top and these powders are really good because I don't even set the cream and the powder just glides on. It doesn't like skip or anything like that. For brows I'm going to quickly go in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist in the shade Brunette. But actually, it's not going to be quickly, but <laughs> on camera it is. But in real life, it's going to take me a minute. But I'm going to speed it up. One thing about the brows is that if you want to get your brows done before your wedding day, make sure that you give it at least one week before your wedding because sometimes if it's your first time, you can have a reaction to either the wax or the threading. When I used to get my eyebrows threaded, I would have a horrible reaction. In fact, I will put a picture if I still have it. But yeah, you want to make sure you give yourself a week if it's your first time because you don't know how your skin will react to it. Now, I recommend getting your brows done, like you learning how to do your brows. It's cheaper and you can do it at any time. You don't have to drive to get it done or anything like that. So I actually do my own brows. I use tweezers and a razor. So I already applied a little foundation on my eyelids to prime them for the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to set it with a little bit of that Laura Mercier powder. And I'm also going to bring it up to my brow bone to kind of set that concealer that I just used to clean up my brows. 
So for this look, I think the perfect palette is the Makeup by Mario Master Palette. It was limited edition. I'm first going to use the shade Isabel as my transition color. Applying this in the upper crease area as well as on the outer corner. The next shade I'm going in with is Violetta. And this I'm going to focus on the outer corner of my lid. Then on the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with that same Violetta shade. Then the lid shade is definitely optional. If I was getting married, I would go with a neutral lid shade just because it goes with everything. Now you can definitely tweak it to match the color of your dress, but if you wanna go on the safe side, more bronzy shimmer lid shade. Today I'm going in with Marina, which is a bit of a rose gold shade, but it's in the same family as like that goldish <laughs> that I would go for if I was getting married. I'm just going to apply this on the empty spot on the lid and I'm using a MAC 242 brush for this. So for lashes, I'm just going to apply a few of the double flare medium black lashes, individual lashes from Elegant Lashes. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box. So I'm gonna apply a few of those and then I'll be right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush. Now blush is definitely optional. I really like this orange blush from Sephora. So I'm just gonna apply that, not too much. And then for highlight, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion and I'm using this one because it looks more like a glow than a highlight like shimmer on your cheeks That's what I mean it looks less like that and more just like you're glowing So I'm going to line my lips with a lip pencil That's a bit darker than the nude shade that I'm using as a lip color and that is with the Mac chestnut lip pencil So because this is your wedding day and you plan on kissing your husband I would go for a matte lipstick instead of a glossy one because the gloss could transfer but it's definitely up to you So for today, I'm just going to use the Mac lipstick in the shade taupe and this is a really nice just nude lipstick the last step will be to set your makeup because you want to make sure that it lasts throughout the whole wedding so i would use any one of the urban decay setting sprays because those are really really great i ran out of those so i don't have those anymore and i've just been using the mario badescu rose water facial spray i really love this this gets rid of the powdery look from any of the powders that you use on your face and it does make my makeup last a lot longer throughout the day so i like this and I'm just going to spray this and then we'll be done. And that completes today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I realized that this video is more full glam. So if you would like to see a bridal look that has, I think I wanna do like a no foundation look, but still look very nice. Like if your husband isn't used to you wearing makeup, then you just wanna do a little bit on your wedding day, then if you wanna see that kind of tutorial, then just give a thumbs up to this video and I will be sure to create that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to keep yourself updated on my new videos and I promise I'll see you guys next time bye guys and that completes today and that completes today's tutorial thank you guys no 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 <laughs>